One of the things you'll notice when you get into the Outgrow tool is if you choose to start your own experience from scratch instead of using one of our pre-made templates, you have to choose which design layout is the best fit for you. So if you come on and let's say you choose you want to build a numerical calculator on your dashboard, then you'll see a set of options under start from scratch which are different design layouts that have different advantages and disadvantages depending on the specific use case you're targeting. So let's say you want to uh, look at the Chicago template, right? So the first thing you can do is just put your cursor over it and get a glimpse of how it works, how it kind of looks and, and will um, feel. To give you a better sense, let's actually go into a live example. So here, this is a live example of a Chicago template. You'll see that this question is taking up the whole is, is taking up a whole card, and each uh, question is a different card. So if I answer this question, automatically progresses me to the next question. So this question automatically progresses me further. And so that's kind of the Chicago template. So you have a one question per page, and then you have the lead gen form, either before the questions, after the questions, and before the results, or on the results page. The second uh, layout you can choose from is the Londoner template, which is a real-time template. So one of the things you'll notice on the Chicago template is that the result isn't shown as you go along. Now you do have the option on the Chicago template to put the result, the real-time result right above this uh, card or box, um, but usually if you want to focus on real-time, you'll choose our Londoner template. So let's go into a Londoner template example. And you'll see here, as I move the numbers on the left, the number on the right changes. So if I increase, let's say, revenue per customer, my ROI should go up. And you can see the ROI go up in real time. And so this is a good example for real-time use cases. It's a popular, uh, popular real-time layout template. And all the questions appear at the same time, as opposed to in Chicago, where they appear um, in sequence. Okay, the next one is the Greek template. In the Greek template, you'll see that the questions appear as part of a sentence, and it's mainly asking you to fill in the blanks. This template, again, you can get a sense of it by putting your cursor over it, is really good for situations where you have a lot of information that you want to gather from your audience, but you don't want it to overwhelm them. So if you look here, you'll see there is three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields that the user has to fill in, but there's only a couple sentences here. So it seems um, easier, faster for them to fill out than having a list of eight separate questions. And it's a little more fun and a little more um, uh, entertaining to complete because you're kind of just filling out a sentence. I am X years old and I'm a male, etc., etc. So this is a popular uh, template for insurance and other verticals where you have a lot of fields you want to ask a user for, a, a, a lot of information you need to be able to provide with the recommendation or the result at the end. So if I click what's my risk, it kind of takes the information, you can ask it for the email, and then gives you kind of a breakdown of the information. This is using the uh, default information input. I can al also adjust the information by clicking start over and then going back and I can adjust, you know, 31, 45, male, female, and see how that impacts the result as well. Okay, um, the Tokyo template is similar to the Londoner template, but it's got a bit of a different design. So um, again, you can put the cursor over, see how it works. Let's go into the Tokyo template. So here you'll see questions are on the left, answers on the right. You can adjust the answers on the left, and you can see kind of how that impacts all these answers on the right. You also have the view charts option over here uh, as part of the Tokyo template and you can have multiple separate sections in the Tokyo template and you'll be able to um, switch with left and right arrows if you have multiple um, sections on the left side uh, if you wanted to kind of segment your questions into different sections. The next layout is the Madrid template. Um, so what's unique about this layout is that it allows you to not have your options in real time like which is what happened in Tokyo and Londoner but still have sections. Um, so it's kind of similar to the Greek, but, um, but it's a popular, uh, popular layout. So here's the Madrid template layout. When you go in, you'll see this is section one of four, and you'll see that you have three questions in this section. So you can answer, you know, iOS, Stalker template UI, seven to 12 screens. And 
all this is section one, then I click next and I go to section two. And you can have logic jump uh, and uh, direct people to different sections based on their answers on previous sections as well. So this is a very popular template for people who want to segment their questions into buckets instead of having every, uh, one question per page or everything in one page. Uh, and they want to put the results at the end. This is kind of the go-to um, layout for that. Um, the next layout is the Stockholm layout. Here, this is similar to Chicago, uh, but the difference is that instead of the, re the responses appear as icons here, so it's a kind of a fun layout. So here you'll see, you know, which third-party service you need to integrate with. Um, and so you can say, you know, I need to integrate with uh, social networks and e-commerce. And you click Submit. And so you see the icon view is, um, is kind of a nice view, uh, engaging view for you to use as well. Okay, so this is the... Um, Stockholm layout, and it's best when you have good icons uh, to use. Like in this example here, you see that they have icons for all the responses, and it's a very nice modern design uh, to, to go for. So generally, single select questions with good icons. The last two here on the bottom that I'm going to go over are Venice and Seattle. Uh, Venice is basically um, very similar to the Chicago layout. It just gives you a more a square card instead of a more rectangular card. Um, but generally, people use those um, interchangeably. Uh, the Seattle layout is mainly focused on financial services. So uh, most people won't use the Seattle template at all. But uh, if you're in financial services and you kind of want this type of layout design, then, um, then you can use this option or the Londoner uh, or Tokyo for kind of real-time results. Uh, but it's not usually used by most, uh, most companies. That's all for now.